Here is a CT of a lung. You could see the mediastinum, you could see the spine, and you could see the lungs. The one thing that you'll notice about the lungs is that they are not quite as loosened as they should be. If you generally look all throughout this area, all throughout this area, you could see that there is less air than there should be, and it is thickened for some reason. Well, here's the actual specimen. And if you look closely, you can see that the specimen is not filled with water. It doesn't look like it's consolidated like a pneumonia, but they just look like uh, thicker, heavier lungs than they should be. Here's a close-up view now. If you look, there is still a lot of air spaces in this lung, but the tissue is just generally thicker than it should be. It's not full of fluid, it's not full of pus, it is just uh, a lot of a thicker sponge than it should be. There's not enough air spaces. And why might that be? Well, if you remember, a lung should look a little bit like this and most of the lung should be air and the alveola, alveolae should be very very nice and thin perhaps about like what you see here. Remember, remember alveoli are nothing more than just uh, uh, alveolar lined uh, spaces, capillaries, not much fibrous tissue at all. However, most of the lung is not like this. In most of the lung, the interstitium is thickened with fibrous tissue, like there, like here, like here, like here. This is an interstitial fibrosis of the lung. It is not a specific diagnosis. It's an end-stage process due to uh, many different etiologies. Uh, many of the uh, pneumonias that primarily involve the interstitium might look like this uh, in a long-standing chronic fashion. Many of the viral pneumonias are interstitial. Uh, many of the occupational uh, chronic lung diseases may look like this. This is a classical uh, interstitial fibrosis of lung, and I thank you very much.